What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexi and welcome back today to Stardew Valley here on Ronald Farms. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. So it has been a little while since we revisited or visited Stardew Valley, but the last episode it was emotional, it was beautiful, it was majestic because it was our wedding day. Yes, finally, we married the lady of our dreams and she is currently standing in the kitchen. Yes, Penny, say hello to everyone. Say hello. Please say hello. Say anything. She doesn't want to talk to me. Damn it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a wedding day, which was awesome. And we are finally now married to Penny, which is really, really cool. So today's episode, what I want to do is I was kind of thinking like... We need kind of like a goal for this series because it has been going on for a while now. And this is one of these games where it can... Oh, man, look at the weather. It's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of these games that can pretty much go on like for a very, very long time to do everything that you can do. Um, so I thought, you know what? Let's try and set a goal, something to work for. And I was thinking the best thing that we could do is try and actually complete all of the bundles in the uh, community center and unlock everything that we can through that. So I think that is what we're going to work towards here. And it's actually a pretty good day because it's raining. And you may be thinking, James, why is it a good day? It's raining. It's miserable. It's gloomy. Well, certain fish only come out in the uh, the wet weather. So what we're going to do here to begin with is we're actually going to take a trip to the community center, which we've not been to for so long. It's been ages since we've done bundles. We got all caught up with, with Penny. How did you? Wait a minute. <laughs> You're in the house and then I left and then you got ahead of me. How did you do that? Can you teleport? Have you got a broomstick? <gasps> Maybe she's not as muggle as we thought. Maybe she's a wizard. That was kind of weird, though. She was, like, behind me, and then all of a sudden she was in front of me. Very, very cool. Anyway, ooh, let's check what the board says. Does it say anything cool? Um, does anyone have any extra seaweed? You know what, Sandy? You can get your own seaweed. It's all over the place. Just stick her on in the water. Boom, seaweed. Uh, okay, so let's actually go up to the community center here and see what we are missing. So currently we're actually growing a lot of crops that we're going to have to try and get some gold stars for, which I know is one part of it. But what I did want to see is which fish we're actually missing because there's two left to do here. We need a night fishing and we need a walleye. Ah! Okay, does this happen in the summertime? Let's find out. The answer is no. <laughs> so that fish only comes in the fall. So that will be next season, uh, which won't be too far away. So, okay, that's something that we have to work for. And then the final one here is the red snapper, which is the last fish that we need. And this is oh, found in the ocean daytime, summer and fall only. Oh, my days. Okay, we're going to not waste any time. Let's go and head straight to the ocean. Have we got our fishing rod? Horse. Um, da, 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 da. Yes, we've got our fishing rod. We've got no bait and we've got no... Uh, you know what? We can just buy some from the fisherman because why the heck not? Okay, okay. So if we can get this red snapper, we are a step towards actually completing our goal here of doing all of the bundles. So let's go and visit the old man fishing dude with the beard. You know, I've forgotten his name. Willie, I think it is. Ah, there he is. You need fishing supplies? You've come to the right place. Okay, okay, so let's grab ourselves a little bit of bait because why the heck not? Right, let's grab 20 bait and which is the one that I like? Uh, I think it is the cork bobber, which increases the size of the fishing bar, which is pretty useful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the other one where it slows it down is a bit of a false economy because it actually makes it harder to catch, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, so let's attach this bad boy to the rod. There we go. Let's stick a bit of bait on the rod. Fantastic. Right. So the name of the game is Simple Horse. You stay there. We need to catch ourselves a red snapper. So this says daytime, but only when raining in the summer. So fingers crossed we get a good bite. All right, here's our first fish. What's it going to be? Be a red snapper. Be a red snapper. It is not. It is a tilapia. Damn it. Okay, why am I trying to cast a hoe? <laughs> there we go. Cast my fishing rod. Um, but yeah, how's everyone been doing? I hope you've been good and stuff. Um, On the channel and stuff, we've been doing a lot of videos recently. I've been really trying to like put as much good quality stuff out as possible. So I'm not really like two videos every single day, but I've been experimenting with it and people seem to be... <gasps> That's not the right fish. Damn it. That's the red mullet. We need the red snapper. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the extra content and stuff on the channel. Um, it's unfortunate because Five Nights at Freddy's World, I've completed it all now. And it's a real shame. So we're going to be looking for something to replace Five Nights at Freddy's World with. Uh, if you have any suggestions and stuff that you want to... Oh, yes, we got it. Yes. Amazing. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for games and stuff that you would like me to check out, then uh, yeah, definitely let me know. I have like Twitter, which is a good way of doing it. I also have an Instagram, which is not the best way of doing it, but... I do have an Instagram. It's called Thanks for You Here. A trilobite. Ooh. 
a new artifact. Uh, but yeah, if you're not following me over on Twitter or Instagram already, my Twitter is at Thanksia and my Instagram is at Thanksia here. Because someone else took Thanksia. Oh, it always happens. Um, but yeah, I think we're actually going to be experimenting with a little bit of Roblox. Uh, maybe this week or next week, I don't know. People like seem to ask. Not They don't ask for it. Well, they do kind of ask for it. But I, I was like, hey, would you like to see some Roblox? And a lot of people were like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So uh, we might be experimenting with that. But hmm, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Let's go and hand in this red snapper, and let's see what we're missing. Righty-o, here we go. dun 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 dun, -dun. Ocean fish bundle, and dun 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 dun, -dun. Woohoo! Bundle complete! Yes! Oh man, I thought that I think the fishing one is probably one of the hardest ones to do. Oh, we've got some five warp totems to the beach. I'd love these things, but unfortunately they like they, they like get consumed once you use them. So you can get to the beach really quickly, but, you know, you have to keep crafting them, so it's a bit of a pain. Alright, so the only fish we need left now is one which is called the Walleye, and that is got from the fall season. So, unfortunately, we're summer right now. Wow! How many of these are we missing? What do we need? Duck feather? We need a duck. And red cabbage. Is that a crop that we can grow right now? Um... Oh, apparently we can actually buy the seeds from Pierre in year two. So, in theory, we might actually be able to do that. This is the one. Oh, no. <laughs> I just foraged a load of these fiddlehead ferns from the Enchanted Forest area, and I just sold them all. Oops. Okay, so we need poppies. Uh, we can make Mackie rolls. Fried eggs, not going to be too bad. So I think we can do a few of these chef's bundles. Enchanted bundles, we need a uh, pomegranate tree and a rabbit's foot. And then this one, we need some hay, which we've got. We need some apples with an apple tree, and we need some wheat, which we can grow. Um, so these are kind of like growy ones. I think, to be honest, we're pretty close to getting a lot of those. Uh, but we need one more. Okay, so the other one are the gold star crops. So are we growing any red cabbage right now? I actually have no idea. But what we'll also need to do is we'll need to actually upgrade our um, buildings so we can actually have rabbits in it as well. And I think we also need goats for something, if I can remember correctly. Where are these? Okay, so we need poppies, so I'm going to grab this because this is one that we need. Uh, and we need red cabbage, so let's grow like four red cabbages. They take nine days to grow. That's not too bad. Okay, so that's two that we can do. I think we've got a pomegranate tree, but I can't remember. <laughs> and there's no real way of telling. Did we plant a pomegranate tree? Oh, God. Should I buy another one? I've got like no money. Oh, you know what? Mm. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, okay, okay. So actually, you know what? Oh, I'm just going to have to do it. I'm going to I'm going to commit. Should I buy one? I'm gonna buy one. Ah, right, it is the morning. I have to go to town today. Okay, 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 but ooh. Have a little smooch with Penny. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I kind of want to get to the cooker, Penny. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, because I, I, I want to try and make some fried eggs. So what do we need for that? We literally just need egg any. Okay, let's go to the chicken coop and let's make ourselves an egg. Ooh, there's a letter. What does this say? Uh, tomorrow we are gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. Okay, the highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you are on your best behavior. Oh, I remember the potluck. Do we... I can't remember what we bring, though. Do we bring something that's edible and gold star? Uh, I'll research that. I can't quite remember what you're supposed to do for that, but... Anyway, so what I want to do now is let's get this honey... And let's sell it because that is good. Let's sell the wine. Let's sell the honey. Uh, produces 28 days to mature. Only bears fruit in the fall. Okay, that's good. So if we plant that now, then we can... <sighs> I can't even remember if I planted a pomegranate tree before, to be honest with you. I probably did. My ducks! Oh, the ducks have escaped again. Why? Oh. <laughs> oh, these dudes are so annoying when they break out, like... Really, really irritating. Can I put that there? Okay, right. So these are the four trees. Do not cut them down. Because I keep cutting down my, my fruit trees and I just ruin everything because you need to wait ages for them to grow again. Oh, the farm's falling apart, lads. Okay, let me go fix all these holes in the wall. I'm going to make a fried egg and then let's go back to the enchanted forest to try and find some more of that stuff. Right, so all that's patched up now. I'm pretty sure these chickens hate me. They're... <laughs> <laughs> Any opportunity they've got, they will just try and break out of their little pen. Like, as soon as I turn my back, boom, they're gone. They've broken down something. It's really annoying. Okay, we've got some mushies here, which is good. How do we make a maki roll? That's the next thing, because we need that for a bundle. I assume it would be, like, maybe seaweed and some kind of fish? Possibly? 
I actually don't know. So this is this is kind of cool now because we are starting to do a little bit, only a little bit of cooking. Like, obviously there's loads of cooking recipes. Let's water these bad boys before we forget. Oh, no, I can do that, can't I? And I've, messed, I've messed it up. He's messed it up. <laughs> okay, so these, these crops here are basically there for our um, bundles. I've got one random chili pepper and I've got two, which is fantastic. Okay, so if we go in here now and we go over to the cooker, we can make ourselves a fried egg. Now, that is part of one of our um, questy things. Oh, how do we make rice? Huh. See, Mackie Roll's not bad. We can get any fish, seaweed, which is easy to catch, and then rice. How do we do rice? Oh, apparently we can actually buy it from Pierre's, uh, which is cool. So we can technically do two of these uh, hand-ins in one go here, which is fantastic. So let's go and check that out. I did want to go to the Enchanted Forest to try and find some of that other stuff. We'll go in just a second, but let's see if we can get this. We also need to catch some seaweed, which I think we need to do at the ocean. And we need to catch any type of fish, basically. So, oh, it's closed on Wednesdays. No! Oh, finally! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever waited that long without catching, like, seaweed. I've caught everything else. I've even caught a puffer fish. Look at this, a gold star puffer fish. So this is actually kind of good because we have a quest. Look at this, aquatic research. So bring Demetrius, he's studying the toxic levels of local puffer fish, and he'd like you to bring you one. So we can actually hand in that quest, which is awesome. We've got ourselves some fish, so whatever we'll do doesn't really matter. And we've got ourselves finally a piece of seaweed. So tomorrow when Pierre's opens up again, we'll go and buy some rice. So what I'll do is I'll go and find Demetrius. Ah, there he is, there he is, there he is. So let's give him... And give him a puffer fish. Da, 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 da. No, don't eat the puffer fish. No, 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 no. Give him the puffer fish. Yeah, there we go. There you are. The specimen uh, looks perfect. I'm going to get it on ice straight away. Thanks, thanks, see ya. You're so welcome, Demetrius. You did give me lots of money, didn't you? <laughs> yes, you did. Fantastic. Uh, so we got that quest done. Now let's go to the Enchanted Forest and go and check to see if we can find any more of this weird vegetable thing. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so let's go and check it out. Let's see if we can find some more of that stuff. I stupidly sold it because I was like, oh, this is new. I've never seen this before. And I immediately went and sold it. Oh, no, I'm not seeing any. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it was like growing in here. It was like Fiddlehead Fern, it was called. And now there's none. Oh, fantastic. That is terrible news. <laughs> Maybe if we wait a couple of days, though, there might be some more. Like, I literally sold it like a day ago, sort of just before I started recording. So... Maybe more will grow. It's a crop that I've never actually seen before, and I assume that it only grows in here, maybe, but I could be wrong on that. I'm not too sure. Um, so the one thing that I want to do now before... Oh, no, I can't, because it's Wednesday and the shop isn't open. Damn it. Uh, we need to wait for the shop to open, really, because I want to go and check also, because we need wheat, and we need 10 wheat, and I've completely forgotten if we're actually growing wheat in the first place. Like, I've <laughs> completely forgotten. Um, so we need to buy some wheat just in case. But I'm really just waiting for this big crop to come in because when we actually get some more money together, we can then start upgrading our area. We can get some ducks and some goats and all that jazz. It's kind of just a, a race against how fast the crops will go, really. Hmm. Okay, well, I think maybe we'll come back here in a couple of days' time. And then maybe we can get the fern that we're looking for. But at the moment, no joy. Right, it's another day here on Ruddle Farms. Why do they keep just destroying this place, man? I know, like, the stone things have, like, a timer on them and they sort of get destroyed, but it just seems like all of a sudden everything you make just will instantly be broken, which is kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, so today we are... Um, we're going to go and buy some wheat and we're also going to go and buy some rice because we can then make a couple of these hand-ins, which should be pretty cool. So we've got to sell some resins, which we might want to sell. We could use the... Let's sell the syrup and let's keep the other one because we can use that for kegs, I think. I think. I could be wrong. Hey, Penny, how's it going? Has a little smooch. Smooch me. Smooch me. Please. Yes, okay. I saw a songbird flying due west in Stardew Valley. That's a very good omen. Fantastic. There we go. There's my smooch. Fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go to the shop. Oh no, I've completely forgot the luau was on. Oh no, 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 no. The luau has begun on the beach. Okay, okay, okay. So it says... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, quick, let me, let me go and double check. I, I can't remember what to bring. I brought some gold star chili. I just thought, well, maybe because this is a big pot in the middle, it might need a little bit of a kick. And I thought, chili might be the thing. So check this out. This is the luau. Um, we did this once last year, of course. Is there a shop for this one? 
I can't quite remember. We've got Penny over here. Hey, girl. How you doing? I'm just humoring some old friends. What I really want is a bowl of that soup. Oh, all of you guys are going to be in for such a treat because this is Uncle Jimmy's homemade, homegrown chili peppers, which we are going to put in this soup. So there's no shop. But let's uh, stick in what we need to stick in. So we've got these chili peppers, chili peppers, chili peppers. How do we, how do we, how do we... If you brought something from the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Okay. Uh, chili. <laughs> how do I throw it in? Can I, can I, can I just do one? You're trolling me. <laughs> Are you trolling me? How do I, how do I put it in? How do I, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hey, you added hot pepper to the soup. Oh, you lads aren't going to know what I hit you. It's going to be amazing. All right, so how do we get this show on the road? So let's go and talk to Lewis. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure you add it to the soup cauldron. I've done that, dude. I've done that. Should we move forward to the luau? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get this show on the road. I don't know what happens if you bring something good. I think I brought something horrible last time and everyone hated it. But hopefully this year will be different, so... Let's find out. Well, folks, it's our time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Last year, he hated it because <laughs> it was my fault. Well, governor, would you like to honor us in tasting the soup? Come on, buddy. Taste the soup. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Drink my soup. Please like my soup. Do you like the chilies? Come on. Come on. Hmm, I don't have much to say about this. It's an average of- How dare you? Those were fine grade A gold star chili peppers I put in there, buddy. Uh, he's right. It's nothing special. Not bad, though. So what would I put in here to make it, like, amazing? I don't know. That's a high-quality ingredient, really. The soup was average, but otherwise the luau was a success. Time to head home. Okay, so we've got time now for one more thing. Uh, it's now we've, we've lost our chance to go to the shop. So let's go to bed tomorrow. Let's go to the shop. Let's buy some rice. Let's buy some wheat. And let's go and hand in two more things for our bundle. Hey, look at this. The next day, it is thunder and lightning. Look at that. But our first round of hops have grown. So this is pretty cool. We can use these in our kegs to brew beer, which is the reason why I grew them. But we also, I think, have... Are these ready? Are these ready or are they not ready? Are these... T no, these turnips aren't ready. Oh, they look so ready, though. Apparently, they're not. Okay, well, at least we've got some hops. That is awesome. We can start putting these into our kegs and we can make ourselves some beer. Pretty cool. Okie dokie. So, let's see if we can buy ourselves some rice. I don't think I've ever seen it before, but it says you can buy rice from here. Oil, vinegar. Yeah, you can. Okay, boom. So, there's our rice and we also want some wheat as well. Uh, melons, blueberries, wheat seeds. So we want 10 wheat because we need 10 for the bundle. Awesome. So let's go and make this Mackie roll. And now we can hand in and, uh, yeah, get a little bit closer to our goal. So I just went and checked the forest again. No joy there, unfortunately. But I did buy this, a void egg. I don't really know what it does, to be honest with you, but I just bought it because it looked cool. Nice. Okay, so we've got a poppy growing. We need pigs for truffles, and we can find those in the forest. So we're pretty good for that. Uh, I think we need a rabbit for that, and we've got a pomegranate tree growing. Uh, we are growing wheat, and we are growing an apple tree. And we have that one fish left to do in fall, and... And we're also growing the gold products. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we should be good. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be about it for this episode here of Stardew Valley. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you're still enjoying this video, uh, the series even. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you poke me in that like button to help show your continued support. Thank you very, very much. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Stardew Valley done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Run to you.